Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss Python programming introductions with hands on and its key feature and why it is called as Python. That is, we are going to discuss in this video. So, we can start with Python history. So, Python program was created by Gudev Van Rassam. He was working at Amoeba project and he will be working with the integrations between the multiple programming at the time. And he just take the key concept and applying for his own Python development and first python version was released with 1991 and the key feature followed with oops concept is object oriented integration like other programming and the high level programming language integrations that's available and strong emphasis on code reliability and simplicity so whenever you're going to read the python code it's very simplified and it's like a english statement is available to compare with other programming like java or other things and support with the cross platform development so that's the reason machine learning big data that are all pl platform will come to the python development now why is this called as python whatever anderson was watching a series his name is monty's python flying circus in 1970 <coughs> he was very impressed with the keyword as python it was very crispy and unique so he decided to provide the same name for his development during the time and we can discuss about pros and cons so in python less number of lines of code is available so simplified already we have discussed the same so we can understand very immediately and dynamic inference is possible in python because we don't want to declare any variable previously and we don't want to declare it with the data type to lock the memory so that's not required whenever you'll be declaring the variable at the time it typically sorry dynamically inference that what kind of data type based on the classes of data types and extensive library support uh, that will be available in python that's uh, we can call as a pip packages python installer packages we can use a number of packages from pip and integrate with our development that is possible and easily integration with other languages if you're going to integrate with a c program that is called as python as well if you're going to integrate with java that is called as jython and it's completely open source so all the programming codes everything you can get as an open source it's a free next iot platform so most of the iot development and integration with the sensor everything they will be created in python programming only apart from c languages so it's very you close to iot development at the beginning and we can discuss about the cons so weak in mobile computing so we cannot make the development with mobile mobile computing mobile computing as well get slow in speed so to compare with other programming it's little slow because it's initiate and uh, dynamically infer all the variables then only it just started but it's a minimal latency only and underdeveloped database access layer and python still not provide all the database access it will be using odbc jdbc integrations only so there is no specific py odbc sorry python odbc connectivity and runtime error whenever you will be executing it will be throwing the error at the runtime only due to that as we discussed the dynamically inferent we cannot understand what kind of data is loaded or something internal that open source logic will be modified we cannot identify in the beginning itself that is a cons so this is the example for variable name declaration i just mentioning few variables which is valid as well this is the invalid variable this is for your reference i just provided and we can go with hands on python interaction mode. so once you install the python as a 34 32 bit or 64 bit just open the command prompt and type python so it will come i am using 3.7.3 version so here you can do your all the operation directly so you don't want to declare any classes any objects here directly use your codes so i just declare a equal to one two b equal to welcome c equal to 2.4 so if i want to see the value of a i just using the function is type so you can see this is the class integer likewise for b it's class of string and class of float so this is the way you can declare a variable and dynamically just infer based on your values so 
this is already we have discussed this integer float and string data lab is available apart from this this a combination of collections is available we can do it like set list uh, tuple that all is possible in python as well next is string concatenation string concatenation is a very good uh, one thing in python so you can concatenate your python, your string variables with multiplication some aggregation as well we can see with examples so already i declared b as welcome i am going to include b plus big data pedia so it will be pro producing as welcome big data pedia so like that you can do aggregation or if you need to do some many multiplication that is also possible we just make with five times so you can see welcome 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 and then I just making some concatenation that is possible and you cannot directly using other variable here so B plus A so it will be throwing error because it's not a part of string variable it is an integer so it will not be allowed so if you need to include it you can use int function sorry string function and include so this is the possible way you can do that so next operator we have this kind of operator using in python so exponent modulus integer division division multiplication subtraction addition so these are the possible in python program we can go with hands on so exponent is a power i'm going to use 4 power 3 so which means it will be using 4 of 3 times of 4 multiplications so it will come the same out that is the use of power and next we can go with modulus modulus is nothing but the, what is the remainder is available based on the division that will be getting us a modulus output so 4 divided by 3 it will be divided by 1 time and remainder 1 will be available that remainder we can see here ok this is another one example so 4 3 are 12 and remainder 2 is available we can see the things next interdivision before going to the interdivision we can go with the division operator so division operator is nothing but it will be providing the accurate output so same 14 divided by 3 you can get 4 times is divided and 0.6 will be the remainder output that will be getting in the division output division operator if you are doing the same in interdivision you will get only the real number as 4 you will not get this float numbers that is called as interdivisions so this is called as interdivisions so other things multiplication subtraction everything you know well the same you can discuss so here I have a few examples with our answers I just provide you just do practice from your end and get back to us Thank you. For the next session, we can continue with other operations one by one. Bye-bye.